a combustion engine, whether we like it or not, whether it's as clean as it can be, it produces harmful nitrous oxides out of the tailpipe. That causes asthma in children, can lead to cancer. We don't want that in the future. We want a clean environment. Senator Raphael Warnock stopped by the Bluebird plant in Fort Valley to catch the bus and talk about the Clean Commutes for Kids Act. This legislation that he's co-sponsoring was introduced to Congress in April. It proposes using $25 billion over the next decade to replace existing diesel-fueled school buses with electric buses. Warnock says with enough investment, electric buses could be the way of the future, saving the environment and Georgians. We've got to build out our uh, electrical vehicle grid and infrastructure so that we can have more electric cars, electric buses, clean energy future. Uh, and so there's a role for all of us to play and we need the federal government to play its role. According to a study by Georgia State University and the National Bureau for Economic Research, engine maintenance for diesel buses costs Georgia schools $200 million every year. Bluebird says diesel school buses get six miles per gallon of gas. The typical route for a school bus driver is around 74 miles a day, making the cost for diesel fuel an added $11,000 per school bus per year. Bluebird President Phil Horlock believes switching to electric buses will be an investment that pays off in the coming years. Electric bus is costly and so with the help of funding we can actually drive costs down by getting more batteries out there, more motors out there and get the cost of production down, the cost of our purchase material down so that by the end of this period when the funding is complete we won't need funding anymore. The Environmental Protection Agency will be in charge of distributing grants to local school districts over the next 10 years if the legislation passes. In Macon, Peyton Lewis, 41 NBC News.